Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today, going to be doing a fantasy draft, except it's going to be the AHL. So um, as you guys know, I've kind of been making videos recently about other leagues because, well, quite frankly, I ran out of ideas and this was just something fresh. So um, yeah, you guys actually seem to be liking them too. It's like a totally different selection of players and just new circumstances, stuff like that. And yeah, it's been pretty cool. New teams, new logos, just new everything. So um, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be doing a fantasy draft of the AHL. So let's do it, shall we? Season mode, make a new one here. And we're going to change the league to the AHL. What's really cool about this is that I could do the ECHL, I could do the SHL, and I could be just learning a lot about these leagues as I go. Because right now, I don't really know a whole lot about any of them, but... Um, I know a little bit about the AHL, like I could probably name a lot of the AHL teams, but that's about it. So yeah, I'm going to turn Fantasy Draft on, and we will do Trade Difficulty on Hard, although I don't think we're going to be making any trades. And now, hmm, how can I randomize the team with a screen like this? I'm just going to... Ooh. Let me... I'll take the, the highest overall team. That's what we'll go based off of right now. Charlotte Checkers, 75, and is that the best? It actually might be. Okay, don't don't scream at me if I'm wrong here, but it looks like 75 is the best. So I'm gonna go with Charlotte. All right, and yeah, let's uh let's do some fantasy drafting here, shall we? I'm gonna obviously turn off injuries because who wants those to be on? Computers, yeah, you can trade all you want. Um, Auto save, yeah, no thank you. Wrong one, I guess. Supposed to go to... No, it's a rule! It's a rule. Okay, sorry. I'm so used to... What's it called? Um, franchise mode. It's much different here. So, turn off coach edit lines. Rules. Injuries. You're not allowed to get hurt. It's officially set in stone by the league. It's illegal to get injured. Okay, cool. We're gonna get pick number 10. That's my guess. And... We get pick 25. Splendid. Okay, cool. I have no idea how this, like, Toon Squad jersey is going to show up in the <laughs> with the green screen, but I guess we're going to find out. So let's try to... Who went first overall? Really? Okay, well, that needs to be addressed. Give me one second. This, we, we need to do a full reset here, pretty much, but... I was picked 25, so I'll make sure that I get 25 again, but the other teams doesn't really matter. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, I tried assigning him to an NHL team. Which he should have been anyway. I don't know why that happened. I did just update the rosters recently. So maybe he got unassigned throughout that whole process. But regardless... Yeah, um, hopefully that works. Otherwise, I'm going to have to delete him. And that sucks. Because I'm currently using him for another video to get footage for it. So we're going to be the checkers again. And I'm going to go to game settings. Let's go to the advanced settings again. Turn off the edit lines. Yep, don't even think about it. Jabroni, rules. Let's go to injuries off as well. And let's start the season. Okay, so I got to move myself back to 25. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. We're moving up a few spots. Okay, so we're at 25 again. Here we go. Who goes first overall? All the way over here. Oh, Turcotte. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Holtz is up there. Chalowski. Uh, Rossi. Okay, there's a lot of good players in the AHL. Holy. All right. Okay. Noted. Let's see who's available here for us. Dzingle? Hmm. He is 80 overall. 29. Okay. Okay. Soderberg as well. Delzato. Where is he now? Who's he even play for anymore? I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Who should I take? Who has, like, the... Is there any... Really good potentials here. There is low elite. Ooh. Veselainen and Robertson. Both of them probably not going to last very long. James Neal. Holy. Okay. Well. I'm going to I'm gonna take Robertson. I'm going to do it. I'm going to start off with Nicholas. Okay. There we go. And we have another pick pretty close. If Veselainen's still there, I'm taking him. Okay. There you go. Done. Nice. Two very solid players right off the bat. And now, I should probably try to add, like, maybe some players that are a little bit older, but are really good. Um, I mean, at least relatively, you know what I'm saying? So, Connolly or Richard Ponick? P 
Honnick looks pretty good. He's a two-way forward. He's also a two-way forward. Hmm. I'm going to take Connolly, I think. But, okay, one sec. Ponic is high top nine. He's medium top nine. Ah, I'm, I'm taking Ponic. Screw it. Okay, boom. Done. I didn't really think about goalies either. Let's see. Goaltenders. We got, oh my word, Hudobin. 81 overall. Dobby? Yeah, that, that's got to be our goalie, no? 100%. Yeah, here we go. We're going to be a winner. This is the, the winning team. Congrats. We already won the Calder Cup. And... Who should we take? Riley Nash, Grimaldi, I kind of do need defensemen, so that should be considered. What about Jason Demers? Still got the medium top four, although he is 33. Defensive defenseman, might work. Hmm, what about Taylor Fidun? He's a two-way defender. Hickey is a, oh, wrong one. He's a two-way defender as well. This is interesting. Alright, it's been decided. I'm going with Demirs. Demirs is actually a right-handed right defenseman, so I like that. That's a good pick, because I feel like it's a lot harder to find a right-handed defenseman for the most part. So maybe I'll pick up Thomas Hickey to be the left. Oh my word, you know what? I can't let this... That's just so rude. I'm taking Eric Stahl immediately. Actually, this guy's a right-handed right defenseman as well, but I will take... Oh, you know what? No, I am going to take him. We'll probably find left defenseman easy enough. And I kind of want to get an offensive defenseman, so... Yeah, we'll be on the lookout for that. James Neal, the real deal Neal? Should I grab him, maybe? I think I should. Yeah. Oh, Marlo, he just retired too, didn't he? Okay, cool. I don't, I don't really know why he's available here. He's not really signed anywhere, which I guess maybe that's why. Or can you get free agents too? In this, potentially? Must be able to. Okay, well, anyway. Who shall I take next? We have two centers... One left wing. Okay, so we're pretty balanced so far. But we do need a left-handed defenseman. No one seems to want to take Hickey. Okay, let's uh, sort by this here. Sakura. Dylan Sakura. 74 overall, medium top six. Hmm, not bad. Not bad at all. I think I am going to take him. Bodker to be our second line left winger, maybe. Oh, wait, no, we already have? Oh, when did that happen? I don't recall that. <laughs> Unless, was it literally last pick? Like, I'm so lost right now. Anyway, ooh, he would be nice to have too. I might, he's 67 overall though. We kind of, you know, we want to win here at least a little bit. You know what I'm saying? We could win with him potentially, but not ideal right now. Yeah, okay, let's, let's uh, maybe go back to overall. Sort by overall again. All right, this guy has just been staring me in the face forever, so... I, I'm going to grab you, Tommy. Finally. Radim, six foot six, and he is a power forward. Let's sign this man up. I don't think we're going to get... Yeah, there's no coaches or anything, so we're not going to get line chemistry or anything like that. But, yeah, we can still... Ooh, Nate Gerby. What a legend. Maybe. Come back to you. Roman Polak. So, I think right now we actually have two right-handed defensemen. And I really want to get... Okay, I'm going to go to defenseman. I want to find a left offensive defenseman. Holy crap, they're all defensive. All right, Ethan. What's up, dude? He is a right-handed defenseman. Of course he is. Well, okay, well, let's, let's grab him anyway. We got three right-handed defensemen now. I thought that was going to be a lot harder to come by. I was wrong, clearly. Let's go to defenseman again. We do need... Like a maybe two-way then left-handed defenseman, Tommy Cross. What a name! Okay, sure, just for that name, Liam Kirk, seventy overall, and he is a centerman. What about Sokolov? Looks pretty good, sniper. I'm gonna take Kirk at seventy overall to be like our third-line center. I'm really curious. Like this is gonna be interesting. I'm. Very, very intrigued to see how this simulation turns out and what other people's teams look like as well. So yeah, this is going to be a fun one. Schneider. Cole Schneider is missing a tooth. That's a good indicator already. He's a right winger. We do need a right winger. All right, Cole. I'll try you out. There you go. Welcome to the team. Scott Darling. No way. 
That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. I really kind of, there's also construction going on. I don't know if you can hear that. You probably can, but there's not much I can really do about that. Sorry. Um, let me just sort by potential here. Is there any... Scott Darling actually has the highest potential as well. Should I just grab him? I think I have to. Yeah. What about Wall? Tyler Wall. Of course, if you have that name, you have to be a goalie. All right, I'm going to take Darling. It's been decided. Marcus Kruger looks pretty solid. 74 overall. Yeah, that is another good center. We are good down the middle. That's for sure. So we need basically two wingers or two forwards, really, and then a defenseman, and we are good to go. We need a left-handed defenseman. What about you, Polak? He shoots right, too. Like, what the heck is going on? Aaron Ness. You are a two-way defender. Welcome aboard the Charlotte Checkers. Cody McLeod. For some reason, this name sounds kind of familiar. 60 Discipline. What a unit. Kind of want to grab him. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, that's so disrespectful to Patty Marlowe. I don't know why no one's taking him. That's very weird. But I sort of don't want to either because I feel like it's just not... All right, you know what? You've convinced me. I'm taking him. He's going to be our last player. Ta-da! There you go. Team is done. So these lines want James Neal on the first line. And I'm going to say no to that. I'm vetoing that. Uh, oh, they are both snipers, though. That's devastating. And Patty Marlowe's a two-way forward. Maybe I'll do that. Vest line in on line two. We'll have Robertson and Marlowe, who probably played a game together in Toronto or something, maybe. That's possible. At some point, their paths crossed. And yeah, we'll have Panic on the first line with them. And I don't even remember drafting you. See, this is going to be the problem with the AHL team. I don't know who I took and who I didn't take. Uh, let's go to left wingers. Looks like they're all in. Centers. Oh, I took Kirk. Okay. So, Kirk, you got to go in. Yep. Let's go, Liam. You are going to be... Who has the better face-offs? You got 74. 65. Get out of there. He shoots left, though. What about James Neal? He also shoots left. Hmm. A lot of left-handed shooters here. Yeah, holy crap. Our whole offense is left-handed. Wow. What a coincidence. That is strange. But then we have left, right. Yeah. Okay. So, at least we have the handedness of our defenseman proper that's good to know and in net we've got Hudobin so I'm gonna say how many games do you play is it 82 I think it's just 82 the same as the NHL maybe well if it is 82 I'm gonna say we get 43 wins and we make it to the playoffs and you heard it here first we're getting the Calder Cup Richard Ponick gets the most points with 80 80 oh my word oh my word what did these other teams build we suck we're actually brutal this really is like a fantasy draft challenge the nhl's never been this bad Jeez, what is wrong with our team i mean we can still turn it around here but yuck <laughs> we're not good at all okay two wins there against texas that's a big achievement i suppose in a row but man okay we're kind of turning it around here just an absolutely awful start from the boys. But, yeah, I guess we're, we're kind of U-turning at the moment, which is very strange. Like, that was... What a bell curve. <laughs> There's no other way to describe that. We were just doing terrible, and then all of a sudden we weren't. But okay, I'm not going to complain. I will gladly accept this record that we now have obtained. And now we're in the playoffs. So we somehow made it to the playoffs against Providence... That was very weird, but let's have a look anyway. So, no, wrong one. I think I gotta go to the bottom one here. Or is it? I think it's this one. Yeah. 55? How many games did we play? 72. Ah, all right. So only 72 games. And we had 55 from Panic and then 49 from Stull. Oh my word. Okay, what about... Let me see our two first picks. Robertson put up 39. And Veselina put up 29. What are you guys doing? Even Hudobin wasn't very good. Darling was like the saving grace. He had a 918-230 and a record of 14-9-2. And, and then Hudobin went 25-20-3 with a shutout. Darling had one more shutout in half the games played. And he had a sub 900. What are you doing, Davi? I've seen enough. Darling is going to be the starter. Congrats. You've earned it. Yep, for the playoffs. Holy, this this is just very strange, this draft. <laughs> I gotta say, 
This whole AHL experience has been very odd, but kind of like it. And if we do the ECHL as well, that'll be pretty cool. Get some different players again. But yeah, we're in the playoffs here against the Providence Bruins. I guess I could probably show you the playoff tree preemptively. Even though the bottom right one's going to be cut off, which is us. Which works out perfectly, because you already know that one. Okay, so that is the playoffs. Let's see how... Actually, I want to check the entire league real quick. I want to see who had the most points in the league and how many did they get? Like, was someone pointing game? No, no one was pointing game. We got 64 from Connolly. Nolan Foote put up 61. We got Kravstov with 61. Okay, so, yeah, no one really actually got pointing game. So the boys didn't do that bad, I suppose. What about goalies? Have a look at them. Boom. And, yeah, they killed it. So, no idea what happened with Dobby, but... He did not kill it. Well, I mean, he did, but in, like, a bad way. Like, he literally murdered it. Let's sim the playoffs and see what happens. I'm assuming they'll be done by here. So, there we go. That's a decent start. We're past round one. Okay. And now we've got... Oh, no. Oh, yeah. The Wolfpack. We beat them. We got the Toronto Marlies. Oh, yeah? No way. Henderson Silver Knights in the finals. Oh! Oh, we actually pulled it off! We actually pulled it off in game seven. 5-0 victory. And your Charlotte Checkers are the Calder Cup champions. I said it. I called it. 100%. But I also was way off in our record. But I also assumed that we were playing 82 games. Even if you did compensate for that, I was probably miserably off. A 30 shooting percentage from this guy. Dylan. How are you? What a mad lad. That is absurd. Four game-winning goals, too. Veselainen got three game-winning goals. Even he popped off in the playoffs. Yeah, he went. He did real well in the playoffs. Robertson, nowhere to be found. He got 11 down here. That's okay. The team did it. The boys pulled it off. Let's go to the entire league. Just see Dylan probably... Yeah, there you go. He's the all-star. 21 points. I guess Peary did almost get point a game. He played two games less. But no, we don't talk about you. Just like we don't talk about Bruno. Okay, there you have it. So, can I view the awards? I sure can. Let's have a look. Awards. Boom. So, the Calder Cup. Charlotte Checkers. Thank you very much. Uh, McGregor, meaning the President's Trophy, basically, is the Grand Rapids Griffins. The Rochester Americans take the Frank S. Mathers. Okay. Norman goes to the Griffins. Sam Pollock. Okay, the Griffins are just cleaning up here. There you go. Fire me up. Did we win individual awards? That is the real question. Nolan, foot. Calm down, sir. Okay, up. Excuse me? Okay, so how did he do in the playoffs? I thought I benched him. I guess they edited my lines for me and rotated the goalies. Let's see. No, wait. Wrong one. Can I check playoffs still? Is that a thing? If I go here, maybe? Will it show the playoffs? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, goalies. Yeah. He played in the playoffs and Scott Darling sucked. <laughs> he had an 880 and a th 3 GAA. And then Dobby just shut everyone down. 925, 209. Wow. After that miserable season, he goes and does that. That is shocking to say the least. Here is the playoff tree, guys. If you want to see it. So, yeah. A massive Calder Cup win in our first AHL draft. You love to see it. Let me know what league you want to see next. I'll probably do the ECHL next, but if that is what you want to see next, let me know. And if there's another league you want me to do, go ahead and comment that down below as well. But thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you. I'll see you soon.